and we are starting off with a lovely cup of coffee. This is our bar. This is everything that I've been sewing from my greenhouse. It's one of those days, you know. Are you gonna have a bath? Such a big baby. In the puddle? <laughs> and the light is done. Fine. Good morning everybody and welcome back to a, another vlog. The first vlog I am filming on this camera. Well, home vlog because we have a London vlog which I think you're all gonna see next week but today we're just having a cozy home vlog. There's a few things I wanna do in the house. I wanna update you all on the garden. I don't know, there's just like bits and bobs all around the house. You know when things just get a little bit much and you just wanna have a good like day at home? Uh, that is today. As you can see though, I'm a little bit dressed up and that's because this morning it is Monday and it is a filming day. So I have got to film my Timu haul today, which I'm so excited about because I love the Timu hauls. The monthly Timu hauls are like one of my favorite things to film because it's like getting a little package of good, because I order stuff and I completely forget because it does arrive within like a week to 10 days, but I don't actually film it immediately. Like this, these packages have been left here for like a week already. So I actually have completely forgot. So it really is like a woo. So that's what I've got to do today, but then I'm gonna vlog the day as well and just spend some time with you. I hope you all enjoy spending a bit of time with me. I know you like the cozy home vlogs and we are starting off with a lovely cup of coffee because before I film, I always have to have coffee, which is probably not the best idea because I do get a bit jitty on caffeine. Andy just made me this and uh, it is a fully caffeinated coffee because I usually drink decaf. I get the grind delivery and yeah, it is boiling. I've just done my makeup and I'm so hot. Oh, I did get from London though. I got the Charlotte Tilbury, the new, well it's not new, the Beautiful Skin Foundation. And that's what I've got on today for filming. And I think it looks really nice. I was gonna get like the glass bottle, the flawless filter, but to be honest, I might get both. I would say this reminds me a lot of the Share Glow, NARS Share Glow, which I have a full bottle here, but I'm gonna be selling it over on my vintage. because I bought this ages ago and I love Share Glow, but as you all know, I'm gonna, move to cruelty free products. So that's why I wanted to do Charlotte Tilbury. Cause I just love, like, I love the range of their stuff. I really want to get into it. So yeah, if you want a <laughs> Norris foundation, it's over on my vintage, which is always in my link tree down below, by the way. Sorry as well that I'm looking down. I'm just getting used to the camera. Bear with me all, bear with me on the microphone as well because I know this sounds different. I did also check my Primark haul this morning and I seen all of you guys in the comments were saying, ditch the microphone, we prefer it without. So my sit down videos like the Timu one I'm gonna film today, I will just go back to basics and just film it with my normal uh, microphone integrated camera. And then I'm gonna look into some new options. This however, is gonna be perfect for when we go out shopping. So like when I'm in Primark, when I'm in Poundland and they've got that extremely loud music in the background. And I know that you guys probably think this is gonna be okay because I posted my home bargains come shop with me this year, this year, this month for May, and no one commented that they didn't like the sound. So I think this external mic is gonna be awesome when we have a lot of interference and a lot of other stuff. But I think for at home, I'm gonna to have to figure out a new solution. But bear with me on this vlog because I'm gonna edit it, I'm gonna see, and it sounds fine, but let's see. Let's just see what happens. That aside, today's vlog, I'm going to start actually with a delivery that I got and also a brand that is very kindly sponsoring this part of the video, Vuglam. Vuglam is an online glasses brand. They do everything from fashion glasses all the way through to prescription glasses. They can do custom prescriptions or if you're just like me and have reading glasses and just need minimal bit of support for the eyes, they also do that too. They do thousands of affordable styles ranging from very classic all the way through to sort of retro glam. There is honestly everything on the website and what you're about to see that I picked up in this box will explain I think perfectly the brand from how out there and statement the glasses can be through to how simple and classic they can be as well. Saying that from the designs, these are all of the glasses that I picked up. I'm gonna start with this pair because I've got a rainbow party coming up. You have to dress up like totally multicolored. And when I seen these on the website, I had to, <laughs> to get them for the party. I'm just gonna have to pop my hair back before we get into this though, cause it is so warm right now. These are called the Cafel glasses. And I have got, like I said, that party coming up and I just cannot 
not wear these. I mean, these are definitely a look, but absolutely spot on for what I need. Festival season, these are definitely these sort of fashion glasses that you wanna go for up close. They are gold frames, and then they do have the red, blue, green, yellow, and like a light blue crystal in them. As I said, these are the Kafel glasses and they are so, I mean, every pair I've got here, but they are so, so affordable. Definitely those are fashion glasses in my opinion, but once I seen those, obviously I bought them mainly because I've got this party coming up. But when I was shopping and seen those, I did also see they did another set of Kafel glasses, but these, of course I love these just that little bit more because they are clear crystal glasses. As you can see, they are clear rhinestones on this one. So they are a little bit more subdued. I mean, definitely still out there in my opinion, but <laughs> now these 100% I would wear to a festival. You could wear like a whole white and gold outfit. It is gold, but with of course the crystals around there, they have got that sort of touch of silver. So these Kafal style glasses are definitely the kind of glasses that glam do sort of very loud and out there. And if we move on to the other couple of pairs that I picked up, the first one, I really liked these because you guys know I love neutral style and I actually haven't seen glasses that kind of have the, oh, I didn't even notice this detailing. I'll have to show you this in a second. These are the next pair of glasses and I love how simplistic these are but I love that they're clear, but with the nude running through them or the brown. These are called the Kinf glasses. They were unbelievably affordable. And what I was saying that I didn't notice when I chose these glasses on the website, but actually if you look on the side there, can you see that? They've got glitter on the side. Let's pop these on and give them a go. Oh my, okay. I love these. These are definitely up my street. So I feel like here, they are obviously a statement frame, but because they're clear, I think they look really, do you think they suit me? Because I think that they actually, this shape suits me. And then the final pair of glasses that I picked up from Vu Glam are similar to those last ones, but even simpler because they are fully crystal clear frames. These are called the Raquel glasses. And as you can see, they are, well, you can't really see because they're fully clear. I really don't know how these ones are gonna look on me, but let's have a look. Oh my God, isn't it so funny? There's no, like you can't really see the frame on purpose because it's clear, but yeah, it really is a look. The frames are a bit cat eye as you can see here. These are the final glasses. They were unbelievably affordable. All of the glasses I've shown you are so, so affordable. Which brings me on nicely to let you know that Vu Glam have also offered you all a discount code, which is another 15% off. So with my code, you can get 15% off the website. A big thank you to Vu Glam for sponsoring this part of the video. I do have to say, I think these are actually my favorite. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up my coffee and I need to get filming because it's a big video today and then I've got to go downstairs and sort the house out, which we will continue in this vlog. Filming is done, and I've got a bit of work done as well there, but it is time just to do a bit of relaxation, do a bit of me. I am someone who just needs to like have breaks, and the best way that I break is obviously with my gardening, ideally, is what I like to do, but I went to the allotment yesterday and I pulled my back, and. I'm feeling it through to today. I did get a lot done at the allotment as well. I know I haven't shown you all, but <clears throat> it's because I don't want to make the content too gardening heavy, but I know you guys like, we like doing stuff outside, don't we? Like now I want to take you outside and show you the garden because I haven't had a chance to show you our bar. I haven't had a chance to show you anything that's going on outside yet. We still haven't had a proper chance to use it in its full glory as well. It's my birthday at the end of this month and I was thinking of having something around here. I'm not too sure if I will or not. It's one of those, isn't it? Cause I don't know if you guys are like me. I'll just pop you over here. I don't know if you're like me, but if I have an event, like especially if it's at my house, I can't, like everything just has to be perfect. Like I can't do anything like by halves, but yet when you do the chilled, like barbecues and stuff. It's always really, really lovely. Oh, my washing's done as well. We're supposed to be having, this is absolutely stunning today. It's like 24 degrees, but apparently it's like going to be raining soon. But do you know what? I might take the risk and I might just put the sun shining. I might just put my washing out on the line. I'm gonna get the washing out and we can head out anyway. Don't ask. Also, we've got a new TV that's been delivered and it's 77 inches. It's as long as the wall. 
Anyway, I'm gonna get the washing out and let's head outside. We'll put the washing up and also I wanna show you what I've got growing in the garden and I wanna show you our garden bar because it's still available this year. It's so affordable and it's not too late if you guys want a garden bar because we did it really affordably and it's like just been, it's been fabulous. Like we're so looking forward to using it. Anyway, let's get this washing and we'll head outside. Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know my depth, even though it makes no sense. Sun as I'm broken, too much of emotion. Sun as I'm the lighting. Okay, washing is all out, and I've realized that this is probably bad timing to put the washing out because I was just about to show you all the garden. Anyway, I thought I'd start at the bar. So this, oh, I nearly fell over Jerry's toy. This is our bar. It's nothing special, but it is very, very cute. I've just got these new bar stools as well. And I just think, you know, it's, it's exactly what we kind of wanted. You've got the optics, you've got a neon sign, which isn't on at the moment, but this is only from Timu. I will link it down below. As you can see under here, we've got loads of um, sockets. So these are all outdoor sockets. We got it from Amazon. Uh, obviously you can get this from like B&Q or whatever. It's just an outdoor socket, but this is actually a special waterproof extension lead. So we can box all this off and cover it up if we want um, but the reason we need power this is for the light when we have power on and we have obviously people want to charge their phones or whatever and then we've also bought a drinks fridge so in this we got a B&Q and it's brand new it's literally still got all the booklets and stuff in it not used it yet because we've not had a party and we bought it last year but we find it gets pretty dry behind here because obviously it's not weatherproof um but here is absolutely fine we've got our lovely thatcher's bar mat here this is actually a vinyl wrap again from timu that we just tried to put on because this was just wooden slats like this and instead of painting it we thought well we'll pop that over for now but we actually are going to put tiles on here eventually we're going to sort of reinforce it and tile it my lovely skinny brands a uh, little mat here that they sent me with some beers I just love this I think it looks so sleek and goes perfect and then this is the little sun corner so I've got my olive tree over here and then I've got my Ikea oh look at Jerry so cute I've just got a little Ikea candle and then what we are going to be doing is building like a little platform so like a little shelf down here because at the moment I keep all of the like games and all of the glasses in these containers uh, which obviously isn't super practical and we do have the space behind here we won't need anything big but just like a little shelf and I can put some glasses and it's easy to grab glasses and that this then is my favorite feature of the bar which you wouldn't see until you come behind it or you stand over here it's all of the little minis that we've got on holiday and like from flights and stuff and I just think it looked so cute sat up there oh my goodness gracious me you won't be able to see in the camera but there is a massive spider up in that corner I knew this would get covered in spiders I'm gonna have to put peppermint oil all over this because they don't like peppermint oil so they should just go away because I don't like killing spiders either but I'm gonna be terrified that actually up under here there might be spiders too these are the lights I bought in home bargains, but I've not managed to put them up yet. I don't think they're very bright, which is a shame. I'm supposed to leave this out in the sun actually as it's solar powered to let it charge up and see what happens. Um, but anyway, this is the little bar. And then yeah, yeah, like I said, the optics are just from eBay. Cheers sign from Timu. We painted it gray. We felted the roof so it's all waterproof. And just, it's so easy with the stools because I can just literally just pop them in there and they stay waterproof and they are done. We've obviously got our white stores set, but we haven't uncovered this properly again this year these are all in my last vlogs if you want to see them but hopefully I'll also be showing you in vlogs to come we've got our outdoor flat screen here which pulls out as well it's great when like the football or the rugby's on if anyone wants to watch it then we can just turn it on and have it out here which is nice and then this is my compass I absolutely love this from home bargains I haven't seen that they've done it again this year so yeah 
but I really like mine. And then you might have noticed in the background a little colossal, a little colossal amount of uh, plants. So this is everything that I've been sowing from my greenhouse. And I've also got this other little small greenhouse. So this one's quite good because you can actually put it on the soil. So the idea is when you plant stuff in, they kind of have like a little thing that goes over the top. So I got that as well. But I love my little greenhouse from Amazon. This is so, so cute. I'm not gonna go through everything that's here because I can appreciate that be boring, but long story short, we've got spinach, we've got pumpkins, courgettes, all sorts, um, a mix that's gonna be for here and for the allotment. I've just got it all out in the sun at the moment, enjoying the sun, because it can get very hot in these greenhouses. We got my little herb garden, not so little with this parsley going mad. It's actually bolting, so I think I'm gonna have to cut it all out. I mean, I don't even like the curly parsley. I bought some flat leaf parsley. And then this is the coriander I bought in the last vlog when we went out with Nan. And it has been eaten, and I'm not too sure what's eating it. I mean, there was like sludge left on it. So I think it's the slugs, but I didn't realize they like coriander. Anyway, these look strong. So hopefully the plant will recover. I need to put my tarragon in still. I still need to do that. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through everything. These are all clear now, so I can put some stuff in there. I'm thinking I might try and do some carrots at home. And then over here, I've got my pea little structure. So the peas are actually doing pretty well. I need to today though, we'll do it together. I need to go get some jute and do what I've done here because these are reaching to climb for something. And as you can see, all the little tendrils are getting all mixed into each other so they, they're trying to find something to climb up and there's too much space here so I'm going to put some more jute all the way up so they can climb and they should produce some peas and they're also just really pretty I think they're quite petite these I've put a couple of little spinaches in here to try it and then I've got my radish growing again these have been attacked by flea beetles as they do they love them they took out this whole plant and then they've obviously like destroyed this one. He might recover, but at the moment I've got a few, so that's all good. I've got my white onions. I've got loads of onions, hopefully at the allotment that will come up as well. But these are just some I did at home to trial it. And as you can see, we're getting some nice little bulbs in there. And then these are just some carrots that I picked up um, from Aldi when I didn't realize that you shouldn't buy plug plant carrots. However, even if I just get to see the nice tops, because I think they're quite nice. Um, but yeah, they're supposed to be Chantenay carrots and purple haze carrots. They look quite cute. Again, one of them just didn't make it. And then under here, I'm trying to germinate some carrots, but, ooh, I can see a tiny little bit coming up there, but I can't see anything else, but I need to keep it moist and dark and keep everything crossed. I'm just gonna go grab that jute and let's do the pea structure. Cause I've been meaning to do that for quite a long time now. Um, cause they're trying to grow. And obviously with weather like this, when we've had it really hot, we've had it really wet, then we've had it really hot and now it's due to be really wet again, but stay really warm. Like plants are just gonna grow so fast. Like that's the ideal condition for them. So I'm gonna go do this. And then once my back recovers, cause literally oh, my back absolutely killing me still, which is so annoying. Cause I thought it would only be yesterday. I wanna get down the allotment again and I need to start planting stuff out. I really do. I'm a bit worried about nature. <laughs> like at the allotment, you know, you can get foxes and get like actual creatures. Whereas like here we don't get foxes or we barely even get birds in the garden. So I've got a lot less to worry about. Uh, so it's a little less of a job here. Anyway, there's only one way to find out if it's gonna work and that's to do it, isn't it? So let's go do this. There we go, all done for now until it gets up there, then I'll go further. But um, I need to just untangle all these little tendrils now and get them sort of trained to go up here. But yeah, there we go, finally. I've been meaning to do that for ages. It's one of those days, you know, when the house just feels like you've, you just, you wanna do a massive deep clean. There's certainly loads of stuff everywhere. I've got so much clutter around the house. Um, I just really could do with having a good deep clean and sort out. But today is just one of those days because it's sunny outside. Like it's actually so, so warm. That washing is gonna be dry in like an hour, I reckon. It's so warm and I'm so happy with that. I'm certainly not complaining, but it just drained. Like I feel drained now. I just wanna go lay down and enjoy it. 
but I need to be productive and get stuff done. But it's just like, that's why I like the home vlogs with y'all. Like doing this is just so chill and we can hang out and I can get stuff done and that's what I like. And I know that you all tell me that that's what you enjoy as well. So it's a win-win, but what I'm trying to get to is I just can't be bothered. I need to be productive, but I just want to sit down, honestly, just sit down with, I was gonna say a cup of tea, but I ran out of my tea and biscuits tea, my Yorkshire tea, tea and biscuits tea. And they haven't had it in Asda for like the last two times I've gone, like over the last three weeks. And Asda's stock is always terrible. This is not a great angle. Let me just put you up here. Asda's stock isn't great anyway, but I'm really worried they've discontinued it. I hope they haven't. It literally is my favorite tea. Like a normal cup of tea just doesn't, I've, it made me realize like it just doesn't, all, it doesn't do it for me. Like I need my tea and biscuits. Anyway, I've ordered some on eBay and I've set up a subscribe and save on Amazon. So I'm hoping that they come. Um, but yeah, I would have a cup of tea, but I think I'm just gonna stick to the water because it's really warm. I've been keeping all of the coffee grounds as well from our coffee machine because they're apparently very good for like, well, they're really good for the soil. We were chucking them on the soil when it was before I had stuff planted out, but you can actually do it while they're on the soil. And apparently it's a very good, deterrent for slugs. They don't like it apparently. So you can sprinkle it like round your plants. Anyway, I think I am gonna just sit down for a minute. Oh, we gotta go clean the front room actually. Come with me, let's go. It just looks such a mess because of all of his rainbow colored toys on the floor. I also hope by the way, this camera's okay. Cause obviously there's gonna be teething issues with this, but it is my new vlogging camera. It's a lot easier for me to take out and about. It should be a lot smoother experience. Obviously like this whole scenario, I feel like it's more engaging when I'm, you know, I can walk around and I can tidy up my room and you're just, sort of hanging out and following me. I feel like I have got a little TV show or something. As I say that, the face tracking fails, but that's what I mean. There's gonna be teething issues, but I think it's where if I do this and I, like my face goes out of frame maybe. I don't know, I'm really excited about new cameras and new technology and stuff. And like, this is, this is so beyond what I've ever been used to with just, you know, having my little G7X, which I film with my sit down videos on. You got, you're taking your toys out as I'm putting them away. But you know what I mean? I feel like this experience for you feels more dynamic, especially when I, I do have to walk around. I'm not always gonna have to walk around. And it also does look a little bit strange when I was editing some footage when I was sat down. And obviously when I'm like with someone and I try and talk to them or bring them into the shot, what you'll see is, is this always keeps me in the center. So my face is always in the center of the frame. I wish you could calibrate that, but I'm pretty sure you can't. It is what it is. And naturally I will improve as I get used to the camera, but you know, just bear with me. I hope you like it though. I'm just trying to invest more into myself as a creator, but obviously I don't want to get, I don't want to get too, thrown away with it. And I think, you know, the more professional someone's setup becomes, I mean, that's great as a viewer. You know, I want to improve my quality that you can hear me like this and that I could walk all the way down the other side of the garden and the quality of this sound wouldn't be any different. I want to improve on that, of course I do. But I think as a vlogger, especially I know watching people as they've grown and got bigger and bigger, it's, one of those, like the minute they go too professional or like everything becomes a bit too much, like, you know, like it, it just, it just ruins the, it doesn't feel as organic. It doesn't ruin it, but it just doesn't feel as organic. For me, I want to kind of stay at this personal level until, you know, you get big enough to have people who can maybe help you with the camera, help you with editing, etc. But when it's, just a little vlogging channel like mine. Well, not vlogging, but just a little channel like mine. Although saying that, little channel, at this moment in time, we are nearly just about to hit 80,000 subscribers. And goodness knows when you see this vlog, because I think this will be going up next week or no, you might even be seeing this in a couple days. I'm growing so quickly at the moment and I love seeing, seeing new subscribers and people there, but Obviously so many people wanna watch just the Primark content, so many people wanna watch the bargain content, so many people just wanna watch the vlogs um, and some people watch it all. But I do take notice of the comments and everything and obviously all of it is so appreciated. But yeah, if you like these sort of hanging out vlogs, I do love filming them. They're usually a little bit more exciting than today's putting out the washing and showing you my carrots and plumping some pillows, but 
I don't know, I just find it, you know, cosy and humbling and just something to have on in the background when you're doing your makeup or you're waking up in the morning and having your cup of tea. I am going to sit down, I have a lie down I think actually, because the top room's tidy now. And if I sound out of breath, honestly, I think the hay fever season is really flaring up my asthma at the moment. So it is now five o'clock and I've been laying down. So my hair is all like, it looks a bit mad. In a t series of turning events, we were meant to have that storm today. And Andy came home, he's been out to see the family today. And we sat in the garden at the bar and had our sandwich for lunch. I made a fish finger sandwich with the leftover rolls from yesterday's barbecue and it was delicious. But we literally just sat outside and just at the end of our sandwich, it started to rain. It literally just came over dark and started to rain, but it rained for like five minutes, that was it. We've been having weather warnings on the news and everything. So yeah, it didn't come to anything. And now if I turn the camera around, the sun is back out and I've got a whole other load of washing out on the line. I thought I'm gonna have to make the most of it. Tomorrow is a rainy day and that is for sure. So I actually did a little bit of tidying around the kitchen. I just did a little vacuuming, put the mats out in the sun to like disinfect from the UV rays, disinfected the floor, just like random little bits and bobs down here, which has made me feel a bit better because it's a bit tidier and cleaner. Upstairs is crazy. Like that's what I need to go tackle now. It's five o'clock. But what I do need to tackle is this little one because he had all of his sun cream on yesterday and that means that he is a bit stinky. Therefore, that means we are gonna have to have a bath. Are you gonna have a bath? Should I go run you a bath? Should I make it a little bit cool? Because you're quite hot today, aren't you? Would you like a nice cool bath? And we can have a little scrub-a-dub-dub -dub in the tub? Come on then, Muffin. Let's go have a bath. Oh my goodness. Such a big baby. We gonna scrub you. Scrub-a-dub-dubs in the tubs. I love getting him clean. Like, ah, ah, ah. Where are you going? He wants to go in the sunspot, I think, so I'll just let him wander on out and see what happens. <laughs> My suitcase from London is still there, it's not been unpacked. I bet he goes in that sunspot. Oh no, he's gonna go check out what's in my room. Anyway, let's run this bath. Just put that down. Right, you ready for a scrub it up dubs in the tubs? <laughs> he, he does not wanna know. Come on, little muffin. Oh, are you gonna paddle? You gonna paddle? <laughs> Yay! Good boy! Oh, is that not nice and cool? This is what I used for him from Pets at Home. It's very expensive for what it is, so I will be changing when I'm done because I don't feel like it made any difference. I liked the last one that had a bit of a dark tint in it, but I found the best way to wash him to really get the suds going. <laughs> Look at the face really get the suds going is just to put some on like that get him really wet and then just lather it up oh yeah you're gonna smell all nice my man you're so warm you could do a cooling down <laughs> it's not that bad now i wash it all up ah! water everywhere Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much fur has come off of him. You are clearly getting your summer coat, my man. Let's get out then. It's so cute, we've got this routine so he knows when I put it like this, he'll jump up. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, you ready to come out of your bath? Oh, you farted, Jerry. I can smell it. I know your farts. Oh. Get your robe on to get you all dry. And you can sit around in the sun and dry off. You'll be dry in two minutes, my man. Okay, come here. Okay. This thing was the best money that I bought. It's bought spent. There we go. He's all washed. And go. Does, does anybody else's dog have zoomies? Yes, Andy is on the floor. He just has to do this every time. Jimmy. 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 <laughs> what are you doing? 
Jerry! He could just do this for a good like five minutes. Yeah, Mom. Coming. <laughs> right. Yeah. Tick off the list. Dog is clean. That is ticked off the list. It just is a flipping sauna. Oh, I got a new light as well. And I need to put these up there. But I only got five, six. I only got six and there's seven. It takes seven light bulbs. That means in this room, I will have one, two, three, four, 45 light bulbs. If I just do this now, our recycling is coming tomorrow. So, although I still have a bad back and I've been washing the dog and putting light bulbs up and I am so hot. Oh, uh, not the right thing you should be doing when you got a bad back. Can you still see me? Oh, hey. New light, it doesn't actually look like this. I've got to put loads of crystals on it, but that's gonna be a job for another day. I've got so much going on. I feel so like bloated as well at the moment. Like this is probably the worst angle you could possibly get. I must look like gargantuan. I honestly, cause my back, I have to like stand so like crouched and I just look, feel really like slumped. We're always so hypercritical of ourselves, aren't we? And I feel like this time of year as well, like my nan and my mum are both people who are very hypercritical of themselves. They're both like unbelievably beautiful and like everyone who, like my friends and that are like, you know, like your, your nan and your mum, they're both very young. They're like stunning. They're genuinely, absolutely stunning, but they just won't see it. I really just can't be bothered today. Can't be bothered at all. I've just moved you in the cupboard because it's a lot easier for me to put my jewelry away in here. This is all I literally do though. When I put, when I say I'm pottering in the house, I can't believe I go online though like this. I just feel I look de so dishevelled. I really need a good, I need a good day to sort out the house and then I need a good day to sort out myself. That is me done. I am gonna take this downstairs. The room's a little bit more tidy and I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling good. We're probably gonna have to walk Jerry, it's 5.30, so we'll probably walk Jerry at about 6.30, and then we've got another HelloFresh tonight. Do you know what, as this is a home vlog, I'm actually gonna do the light, because then that's a home update. I'm gonna go get the step ladder though, because I'm not gonna risk my back. Um, and I've literally got white gloves I have to put on for the pieces of crystal, because otherwise you get fingerprints all over them. And I've got all of these wrapped up individually, and then I've got a bag, of these little things, which I need to thread through each one, and then thread them onto all three tiers of that light. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get all of it done, but I'm gonna pop you on a time lapse and we'll see how much we can get done. I'm calling up cause I'm right under the stars. Finally, they're all done. That took a while, but let's get them on the ceiling. I said that I need you. Like a late night, someone that I knew. I just hope you won't get hurt. I just hope you've been through worse. So no zone broken. Too much of emotion. So no zone the light. One round is done. Just two more to go. Oh, okay, I've come back from the walk with Jerry and I've had a shower and I'm just gonna abandon the light for today. I just, I just can't be bothered. So we'll pick this vlog back up tomorrow when I continue this chandelier. But the good news is it does work. So at least I haven't put it all up, but then realize it's not working. <laughs>
finally, oh my gosh, it actually looks so nice. Let me show you. Look how stunning this is. It is actually really perfect for this room. And if I turn it on, I am very, very happy with that. Absolutely stunning, but did take, I mean, in total, it's probably been like half an hour, 45 minutes to put this, like all the crystals on. So yeah, thankfully I never have to do it again though. It is still absolutely boiling today. I did have my hair down, but I needed to put it back up again. I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I have edited this so far and I think we're at like four, nearly 40 minutes. So we've done a lot today. I hope you've enjoyed spending some time with me. I certainly can't get out in the garden right now because it is raining and gray, but hopefully we have some lovely summer days on our way. Thank you guys so much for watching if you got up to this point. I'm gonna leave some videos on the screen here if you wanna watch some more of my content and I will see you all in my next video on Thursday. Ciao.